On Cash Grab, we look through different franchises that have been turned into video games and decide whether or not they're cash grabs. My name's Adam. I'm Steph. And I'm Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Tom just <laughs> very quickly pulled his face away from his beer in order to say that one Sorry. that one sentence he knew was I coming. Do, I do really apologise. I was midway for a gulp as I said it. <laughs> right. Right, so today we've decided that we're going to have a look at Back to the Future. We are going back to the future. We are going back to the future. Jesus Christ. To 1985, when times were simpler, when things were better. (laughs) 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 I couldn't couldn't think of a third point of reference. I was like, things are better. Cars. (laughs) Literally, it went totally fucking blank. That's the problem right. when you've had like five beers and you're asked to do a <clears throat> podcast and it's going to go horribly wrong. But, or, or, or horribly well. Horribly right. Horribly <laughs> wrong. <laughs> horribly wrong. Horribly wrong. Horribly wrong. Horribly wrong. Yeah, exactly. It's going to so, be horribly so, brilliant. So yeah. viewers, welcome to the most bittersweet podcast you've ever been to. <laughs> ever been to? <laughs> Point proven. <laughs> right, so. Back to the Future. Yeah. Mm. The film Back was released point. in 1985. <laughs> it was. And uh, had any of you seen it before we... Oh, just let to know, we watch half an hour of the film and then try and play the game for half an hour and then we talk about them separately. Yeah, so right? effect- effectively the podcast is a franchise comparison. Yes, yeah. from from franchise to video game and yeah. how, how it relates. Okay, okay. And if it's any good. Yeah. So back to the future. We watched half an hour of it. Mm. Had you two seen it before? Yeah, but ages ago, so... I, I, I couldn't remember any of the, the first bit that we'd seen. You remember yeah. the, all the like classic bits. The classic bits. With, but that, most of that's back in the future. No, back in the past. <laughs> <laughs> most of that's in the past. <laughs> well, the first half of the film is in the past. The yeah. is, I, I barely remember any of it. Because I think the last time I watched it, I was probably still in single digits. So no, literally, like were. before... No, seriously. Really? Honestly. Yeah. You haven't yeah. watched it since you were... At, li- at nine or below. Nine, <laughs> <laughs> no, nine <laughs> or below. Take your pick. <laughs> Yeah, literally, that's that's like I might have been ten, right? All right. <laughs> but All right. you know, changes everything. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. That's, that's you know, you have, a new, like. you have a new perspective on life as soon as you hit double digits. <laughs> you know, but um, yeah. So I mean, like my knowledge of it is practically zero. Cool. It's, it's as if I'd never watched it. So watching that All half right. an hour was fucking brilliant. But you'd seen it recently, though, Steph. Yeah, I watched it around Christmas, I think we watched them. All, so, all three of them. So really, for this podcast, you're our point of reference. You're our expert. I'm most up to date. Yeah. yeah. You're our black belt. But I don't remember much of it. But Adam, anyway. Adam's a blue belt. I'm very much a white belt. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, I haven't got a belt. My trousers are falling down. <laughs> So the beginning of the film, <laughs> <laughs> whilst Tom's pulling his trousers back up. <laughs> um, yeah, so the beginning of the film starts off with Marty going into, um, is that it? Marty? Yeah, Marty oh, McFly. Marty, Marty McFly, yeah. So yeah. He, he goes into Doc Brown's... Doc? Where? <laughs> Doc Brown? Doc, is Doc, it not Doc Brown? Is it Doc Brown? Doc Brown, Emmett, Doc Emmett Brown. Okay, yeah, he's Doc Brown. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm the wrong. one who's seen it least. What the <laughs> fuck's going on? I said it. And Adam laughed like <laughs> yeah. I got it wrong. Uh, Doc Brown. It's, Do- it's Doc Brown. He goes into his little warehouse. What are those shoes? It's flat. What are those shoes called? It's not a flat. I'm Doc sure Martin's house. Doc Martin's. Yes, Tom. Yeah, but that's got nothing to do <laughs> with this. Good point. <laughs> right. So he goes in there, blows up an amplifier, and a speaker. Which is stupid. Can I make a point? Um. There's one thing I want to point out, um, and because we're you know we're doing a critique of both the movie and the video game, and then doing the comparison point sure. of the podcast, the first half hour of mm. each. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that guitar was really small. Am I right? It was really yeah. small. Yeah, you're right. Like and insanely small. The speaker you could fit a full grown man inside it. Yeah. Well, maybe inside even, the coat. Yeah. Maybe a couple. Maybe um, a couple. Yeah. Like exactly. That. Spooning. <laughs> oh, definitely. I mean, there's not that much room. <laughs> You'd have to be very economical with your space in an amplifier. <laughs> there are wires everywhere, you know, and it gets very hot. I know this. Right, so yeah, he does that. Yeah, and, uh, but, but the Doc thing is, Brown it, has... looked, it looked like an electric ukulele. That's all it I'm did, trying to say. It did, yeah, it did, actually, you're right. But then Doc Brown has some kind of Wallace and Gromit shit going on, where he's... Like making the his... can of dog food, yeah, yeah, yeah he's which was that. called what? Do you remember the name of the can it's of dog like, food? Uh, Here's a memory cow... test. Oh, what was it called? Cow dog chow. Cow, cow, cow. Well, cow. thanks for that, Steph. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it probably was. Uh, and then he realizes he's late and he hitches a skateboard ride to school because uh, all of 
Doc Brown's clocks are precisely 25 minutes behind. Every single one of them. Yeah. For some strange reason. Yeah, what was the point of that? Was there that was ever no, explained? No. I'm sure it's something to time travel. But... Do you reckon this is... Have have we seen? Have any of you guys seen the sequels? Just throwing it out there again, now. Again, seen yeah, them, but again, can't I watched all three of them at Christmas. Okay, because I I like I say, I've only seen this one when I was a kid, but I haven't seen two or three ever. Really? Never, ever, ever. No, never. So basically, does this whole twenty-five minute thing ever get explained? Not that I remember. No, I forgot. It was Seriously? Right. I mean, I remember him going, "You're telling me that it's twenty-five past eight. I'm late for school or whatever, but I don't remember yeah. why. I don't think it ever got. It's because the thing is, it seems like such a kind of. It seems like such a Quite kind of a big part, point. Yeah. You know, it's kind of such a big point to start the film, and then it's like, uh, you know, it's like it just goes nowhere. Does is it ever explained why he and he and the doctor have a relationship? Mm. Like, why is this teenage boy going to this guy's house? So how I'm pretty, pretty sure. I'm pretty sure eventually they kind of sort that out. Uh, do any of us? Why. Know how old Marty's meant to be? Marty, he's, in he's, school, he's in high so school, so he's got to be late teens. Surely. I'd say like sixteen. <clears throat> yeah, sixteen. So sixteen-year-old and Doc Brown. Sixty. Yes, probably. Does let's be honest, it does seem somewhat of an inappropriate relationship, doesn't it? Nah, it's fine. That. Nah. In fairness, our first job. <laughs> oh fucking hell! Was uh, <laughs> was, work, was, was, was working for was working for a uh, a sixty seven year old priest at the age of fifteen. So this has turned I, into I, a I, very so, different podcast. Yeah. So I think this I, is so now think, therapy. Well, session. basically, well, we, were, no, no, no. we weren't no, no. friends with him. We, we, we're still on the. Just, po- I was, was friends with him. I was friends with him. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is this that is how he talks to a psychiatrist about, mate. Let's just let's leave this off the podcast. All I'm trying to say is that I related to Marty McFly's character. Cool. That's good. And a little bit of Doc Emmett. I've been touched, <laughs> Sorry. Right. So, so yeah, then... so he gets to school. Mm-hmm. He gets his girlfriend to try help him sneak in and gets caught but by is it, is it his girlfriend? the world's worst principal. Because he's, like, he's checking out women right next to her and she doesn't seem to care. I do that all the time. Oh, right, fair enough. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, oh, dear, oh, dear. Well, well, uh, well we're, we're so surprised by this because Adam's girlfriend's <laughs> actually currently in the room kicking him in the head. <laughs> <laughs> Well, um, no. The thing is, it doesn't. It doesn't actually make his relationship with her very clear. Well, literally, she hands him a note saying "I love, I love you, you" and kisses him. Yeah, but yeah. people say "I love you" all the time. I say "I love you." I don't mean it. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Stop. God, some really harsh things being said today. <laughs> First episode, lads. Yeah, sorry, sorry. So yeah, so the world's worst principal with the, the world's scariest neck. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's definitely part of the lizard race. In, in fairness, he could have been a burn victim, and we're just taking the piss. Oh, that's horrible. Yeah, but then Doc Brown had the same kind of neck. <laughs> well, I think you ha- you you had it sus uh, when we were watching the film, Adam, and you said basically it's very clear to see bad eighties prosthetics when you're not within the eighties. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yes. Looking looking back at it and kind of seeing how special effects have advanced, it's quite clear to see that all like uh, Marty McFly's dad, exactly yeah, the same yeah. thing, and his family, his mum. Yeah, you know, pretty mom. much every single yeah, person. Because had... because <clears throat> I'd actually quite like to know the age of those actors that are supposed to be his mum and his yeah. dad. Because I'm pretty sure they're probably what 30 odd something like that and they're supposed to be playing 60 year olds well it's because oh, oh, when, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, when you go back they're, sorry the actors yeah they're what 16 years old so they well, have to be he, somewhere he goes in into between. the future though right at the end he jumps into the law and he drives 25 years into the future well like we say you're the point of reference on that's yeah. what doc brown that's what doc brown wanted to do yes but then the terrorists appear <laughs> <laughs> the libyans yeah that was a bit that was yeah. a bit fucking so basically blue, then it? doc brown tells marty to come and meet him uh shopping mall at like one in the morning a bit mm. weird yeah. near a jc pennies and then he has this whole thing <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's the that's the it's a women's clothing shop in america i know this shit jc cool. pennies okay. isn't, this, isn't this why you isn't this why you invited me on the show oh yeah definitely was yeah um so yeah then um i completely lost, <laughs> lost my train of thought yeah so basically we, dot gets attacked by arabs Oh, because he bought that's the ba- plutonium. That is, basically, that is basically the long and short of it. Isn't <laughs> yeah. it? You know, that's that's kind of like where our half an hour. Wait, wait, wait! In a VW camper van. In a VW camper van. But I love the uh, fact they were surfing terrorists. <laughs> yeah, Sorry. they were surfing terrorists. <laughs> yeah. I love the fact that the driver's wearing this like really bad turban type. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah like, it, it was really like it's, insensitive. It's, 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 <laughs> they, they were trying to kind of get the archetype of a terrorist, yeah. and then thought, what would a terrorist drive? <laughs> <laughs> 
mm. VW Camper Van. Is, is it a Toyota, you know, Toyota 4x4? Mm, I'm thinking VW <laughs> Camper Van, you know? <laughs> Maybe it's what they just had lying around. They thought to just use that. Like, you know, yeah, on set. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, no, yeah. fuck it, have that. Have that. You can shoot yeah. a rocket launcher out the roof of that. Yeah, Go yeah, for fuck it. it. I'll tell you what, that was the thing which... <clears throat> bit of a pun here but blew me out of the water the most <laughs> but when that like you know run out of how many rounds of ammunition did he have on that ak-47 i don't know his gun broke halfway through well he broke halfway through and then but he kept on firing didn't he like he wasn't just shooting rockets he didn't even shoot a rocket at the end did he yeah he, i well, don't think he did he get the rocket out he I got the rocket no, out and kind of spent about 10 minutes fucking right yeah, yeah and yeah, then yeah, marty true. hit the the classic 88 miles an hour and bang. blasted into went the into the future. Mm. No, twenty five years. Twenty five. No, he went into the past. He went to the past. But why did he go into the past? I'm sure Doc Brown set it for the future. Set for the future. Hang on, I tell you what. Sorry, guys. Like I say, I'm the. I saw this when I was a kid. I'm really confused. But we just watched. Where it. did he go? Yeah, but I didn't. I didn't see where he was going. He went back into the past. I think 1955. He went into, he went into 1955 he, when Doc was. Uh, oh, of shit, course he did. Because yeah. Doc then put another date in for, yeah. for some reason. I was the date he learned to time travel. Yeah. Can I say something, by the way? There's something we've missed. Which is? Einstein. There's, so, oh, there's yeah. At some point, you've got to think that this guy isn't just an eccentric inventor. And actually, he's just a poor pet owner. <laughs> yeah. And you've got to think to yourself, actually, we should call the dogs protection. They don't have the RSPCA in America. That's why I'm saying dogs protection. Oh, do they not have the RSPCA? No. It's a Royal Society for the... But they might have animals. something similar. Is it? They usually have. Um, they have something. I'm going to call it the dogs protection. <laughs> <laughs> the dog protection unit. The dog protection unit. DPU. He's uh, so at some point somebody's got to just say, look, we're going to call the DPU on this guy because he's left a fucking dog in an ice cream van four times this week. <laughs> <laughs> and that dog, and he knows that dog's diabetic. <laughs> he's asking for trouble. Anyway, that's his dog that he uses to test the time machine on. And it's a lovely before dog. Before he ties it on a human. Yeah. And it's a, and, and, and that's another thing. Why the fuck <clears> would <throat> you do that? Seriously, why the fuck would you do I that? I wouldn't put my dog in a time travelling car that I, that I created Look, and thought, let's, yeah, let's see if this works. Let's put ourselves in a scenario, right? What, what would you use? What animal? Would... I would ask my friends. Fuck. Why does he need a dog at all? Well, he we needs a living thing to see how the living thing survives. You, but but you would you would I ask suppose. someone you you would have confidence in someone close to you wouldn't you you would say look you know yeah, but you'd rather you could put kill someone's them. life you'd risk in killing danger. them yeah but it's a dog would you put your dog in a time traveling of course car I fucking wouldn't I couldn't bear to see my dog die exactly my so dog. what would you put in it a mouse no yeah. yeah yeah he can tell me about it afterwards you, the thing is you you the have dog to can't re- tell you yeah, about then, it afterwards either but then you well, see he, the dog the dogs are more expressionate they would tell you in his eyes things I've seen. I'm telling you, but like you know, you'd 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 ask someone in confidence, wouldn't you? You'd you'd have someone who trusts you to such a degree where they think, yeah, he's such a good inventor that it can't go wrong. Like things will be fine. I will survive. Mate, if you pulled up outside my house with a truck, well, mate, and then you... you opened the truck, and there was loads of <clears throat> bloody fog or mist or whatever inside it, and then you rolled out in the DeLorean with a load of crap on the back, and then told me to get in it, literally crap. Going... <laughs> Le- no, no, sorry, literally <laughs> crap. Yeah, just bird shit. A car covered <laughs> yeah. in bird shit. Get in. <laughs> Get to 88 miles an hour in this car park and you'll travel through time. And I don't, I don't, I, and I don't have a license. <laughs> <laughs> I can't drive. That's also yeah, you're in a car point. park. It's fine. Well, yeah, but but the thing is, it's like yeah, I admit. But the thing is, is you you know, it's it's like you for him to relay information. Obviously, the main thing about this is is him doing a test uh, for time travel, yes. which has been his experiment for how long did he say? Was it? Well, since 1955, so... 25 years. Is, yeah. Was it 25 years? It's got to be... I've just come straight from around 25 now. years. 30 years. 1985. Yeah, 30 years. 30 years. So for 30 years, that's been his research. Years. If we're assuming so, the film is so set ba- yeah. in the year it was released. It was. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, I mean, you would you would need someone to relay information back to you, wouldn't you? You'd have someone to say, it's worked, I've Well, no, because that's why Doc Brown then jumped in it, and he was going to go 25 himself, years into the yeah. future. Wasn't he? Because then he was like, oh, I'm going to go into the future now. I've seen my dog survived. And then, the and then he was going to leave so, 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 so the dog. So literally, the dog was just a, a, a martyr. It was a matter of will it survive or not. Yes. Well, that's fucking hideous. Well, that's it? what I'm saying. My original <laughs> that's point. what I'm saying. Why Cruelty would you do that? to animals. What a dick. Shouldn't own a dog. That's all I wanted to well, say. Well, it's all right, right because he ends up dying <laughs> The anyway. dog's a... Who? Dog. 
Oh, the, doc, doc, seen... doc or dog? <laughs> it's it's no, a very no, big, yeah, yeah. It's no, a I'm, very I'm, big I'm issue. I'm sorry, we have to be very specific about this. Doc, doc or, or dog? Doc dies. Oh yeah, he got shot. Well, by as far as we so, so the dog oh, yeah, survives. The dog is fine. Yeah, we dog, don't know what happened to the dog, but he's fine. He's but we know that Doc gets chilled in the van. But then Doc shot gets by the shot by a Libyan. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, so then Doc Fucking dies, hell. and then um, Marty travels into the past. Okay, I can't actually remember, but how does Doc not die? Because we all know that Doc doesn't actually die. No, but does he then go and he, get he, the past he, version he, of Doc? He, uh, he, he, okay. he, yeah, he kind of he reinstates the present by altering the past, and then eventually goes back to the future. <laughs> yes. See, and so, then they so, do so, it again so and again. So basically, everything. Turns out great in the end. No, but if you watch them, there's I've some quite seen... there's some quite clever bits. Like I can't remember exactly where in the film, but like when he when he comes out of the time travel, he hits. Mm. You know how it's called like two two pine mall. Yeah, the two pine mall. He hits yeah. the two trees and knocks them down, and then it's got a, it's being called a different name because there's no longer the two pines there. The no pine mall. Yeah, <laughs> or, 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 or alternatively, the mall. <laughs> the mall. Yeah, just the mall. But yeah, there's quite a lot of like cool little things like that that you'll pick up as you if you watch yeah. it a couple of times. This is the thing I feel I feel bad that it's been so long since I last watched it. All right, because... well this 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 brings us to the um the question on the film side of it. Would you carry on watching it mm-hmm. after that first half an hour? Oh god, I was yeah, loath to turn it off. I really wanted just to keep watching. Yeah, yeah. likewise, likewise. Yeah. yeah, I'd watch it again. Yeah, it was it was good. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> so that's a thumbs up for the film. Oh yeah, uh, a good resa- film. Yeah, resounding from all of us. So yeah, good. Now, yes. <laughs> yes but... Right. So then we had a look, and we have the um, the game on the NES. Right. Fuck's sake. This. So this was released. <laughs> just bringing up my notes. This was released in nineteen ninety nine. No, nineteen eighty nine. So this is four years after the fucking film, right? So the this this company T J N. Oh, LJN. LJN. So this company, LJN, who I, I think were rocking around for quite a while, they probably got dissolved by another major company. They're probably a part of, you know, something much bigger now. But for four years, right, this thing was potentially in development. Well, it was developed by uh, Beam Software, who I don't, I've never what heard What the of. fuck is a Beam? <laughs> <laughs> Beam Software. Beam Software, right. So four years, right, after the movie's released. Yes. Now, I know I said that in, you know, it's been over a decade since I last saw it, and that's unforgivable. But these guys who were commissioned to make a game from a movie were clearly given some time to watch the fucking movie, weren't they? Um, Now, let's be honest, the game wasn't much like the fucking movie, was it? (laughs) I'd say it was more like a rip-off of that Paperboy game. Oh, shit, I hadn't realised that. Yeah, it it definitely was like Paperboy. I never played Paperboy, no. Right, you... so basically this game, let's just get into it. What? I don't know where to start. It was just... So, it was, so, it can, was the thing that, can, thing can we start on the music? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> would, that, would that be a fair point? Right. From title screen to death. And beyond. <laughs> <laughs> because let's be honest, I don't know about you guys, but I still feel like I've got the music. Yeah, I can yeah it's, it. it's still like haunting my it's, mind it, in you the know background. What, you know what it brings to mind? Now, I'm going to say one word, and you guys just have to say yes or no. Tetris. No, no. the thing is, God Tetris no. doesn't get that annoying. Is that Tetris? Yeah. At least there's, there's more to there's it. There's a tune. There's, there's more to Tetris. So how did Back to the Future go? I c- couldn't tell you, it was just a drone <laughs> in my ear. <laughs> it was just oh. like... Do, 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 something like that, wasn't it? Was it? I distinctly remember it as. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, chorus. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. basically, no, it was the same five or six notes. And it's just crap. Over and over and over and over well, and over and over. Granted, it was, granted it was in the 80s, okay? And, um, and obviously, Technology, it's, it's, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't exactly polyphonic, but. It was still, you could still create a, a, a semi decent. It wasn't fucking phonic. <laughs> <laughs> Forget monophonic or polyphonic. It wasn't fucking phonic. It was you more the fact that, that it wasn't. It was like a fifteen second, not even fifty. It was probably like a five second sound loop, repeated over and over and over again. Yeah, yeah. And then you got one. It had like its break section. Yeah, well. the break section was the same thing, but a few semitones higher. 
And then you had like another section which didn't last long enough because it was quite calm, that section. And it didn't yeah. last long enough <laughs> before it got back into the main section, which went on forever. So yeah. It was yeah. bad. So, so music... Well, the music, music is well, the music's fucking clearly awful, a right. fucking resounding no, isn't <laughs> it? It's fucking dreadful. A game, a, game isn't, a game isn't one lost on the music. Well, I mean, I agree, I agree. That, that is true, yeah. But yeah, when, it's, when it's blaring it, in your face like that, it kind of is. True. It does set the scene a bit as well. Mm-hmm. Like the, the music has a way of kind of building atmosphere. Can I, can I just say, we didn't manage to play the game for half an hour. No. Fuck no. <laughs> and I, think, I, mean, I think it's mostly because if it had decent music, the gameplay was crap. But if the music was okay, I could have persevered for half an hour because I started to get pretty good towards the end. You did? No, fucking hell. I, well, I didn't have a go. Adam I had, had a go had and a I was go. awful. Did you get past stage four? No, I didn't get past level one. I got to Just level four subject. or three? Three, three or think. four? I think three, but you got cl- three. You were like yeah. right at the right, end. Yeah. We, we saw where the crossroads come in, which is the end of the level. Oh, then I collapsed. And then you collapsed, yeah, because your, your time was up. The time, time went up, yeah, because the seconds in the bottom right corner... Are not seconds. <laughs> yeah. No, they're not fucking seconds at all. Jesus Christ! The go- well, the guys who developed this game were clearly on speed. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, so the game is your Mar- I assume you're Marty. You don't even look like Marty, do you? No, you, you just- don't look anything. No, like look him. like a guy in a black t-shirt. You press. So you get onto the main menu screen. It says Back to the Future. You press Start, and then, bang! You're, you're some fella running down the, the street. Game. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so you're and running down the street, and you've got to collect clocks. Yeah, this this also to stop to 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 stop a picture of you and your parents from disappearing, which is an aspect later on in the film where he looks at that and he needs to make sure that he's born. Yeah, yeah. So you guys might not remember that ever happening. Hang on, he needs <laughs> yeah. to make sure he's born. Yeah, because he yeah. like messes up. You know, he nearly gets with his mum at some point. It's you weird. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it's weird. Okay, I'm gonna throw a question out to you guys. No, if, if, you, if you went, would you ever get no. with your mum? No, <laughs> no, Tom. But if you didn't know, no, <laughs> <laughs> just me, right? Yeah, just you. <laughs> oh, damn. But I'm your mum is your pretty mom. fit, to be fair. No, I won't show it to her either. <laughs> I might show it to her. <laughs> anyway, so you're collecting these clocks, and what what have we got? We've got obstacles, obviously, stopping us. Um, yeah. Should I list them? Go on. Go. Nuclear plant pot. Yep. Fence made yep. of nails. Freddie Mercury. Yeah, so Freddie Mercury's running. It, it's a fella that looks exactly like Freddie Mercury in a tank top. Pink, it, it's pink like, tank top. It's yep, like the moustache. Um, yep. Let me. What, what's, what's that? Um, what song is it? I want, I want to, to break, I want I want to break free. free. Yeah, yeah. It's like that. That opening yeah. scene. That, and he's running around grabbing you, basically. Yep. Hula girl who Hula. throws blue bottle flies at you. <laughs> yeah. They were blue bottle flies. Bees. The size of a human head or bigger. Yep. Um, spilt toxic waste. And spilt oil. oil. Spilt oil. Holes in the floor. Cracks in the floor. High pavements, which I think is the most disgraceful. <laughs> and the thing is, I don't remember <laughs> any of these things being obstacles that Marty has to tackle. No, in so, first, so in, in that in bit, first half an hour that bit maybe. of the game must have been when Marty grabs his skateboard and then skateboards. Everything is not on a skateboard. He's, he's running. Like, he's no, running. In, uh, in the game, he's running. But in, in the film, he gets on a skateboard, he grabs the back of the cars... And he goes along and he keeps changing card paper. you look at the go. map, so you, you've got a map when, yeah. you're, when you're completing the level, so it shows you where you're going. So after it's got you your complete, progress. Yeah, 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 each level it shows you where you're heading. He's not heading to school. He's heading to... Um, the cafe? The ca- cafeteria? Yeah, cafeteria or yeah. Some, somewhere like that. Some, yeah, so it doesn't even make sense. It's a it? diner, yeah, that he's So what the to. fuck has this game got to do with Back to the Future? The Wikipedia entry said it's, <laughs> it's loosely based. <laughs> yeah. And I think it's loosely, Very fucking it's, loosely. It's loosely based in it has the same name. Yeah. But the thing is, you the advert it has about even, right. It has so even we got watched the, the advert. We watched a commercial for it, oh and God. the commercial's like strap line was, "It feels like you're in the movie." Yeah. In what way, shape, or form does it feel like you're in the movie? Well, <laughs> it doesn't. Very it little, doesn't. <laughs> if at all. Yeah. No. The the thing is, I want to bring up something about the advert. So, what was the point, right, in the advert of like? You know, in the advert, he was like playing a level and then he ran into a pane of glass. Oh, no, I've run into a pane of glass. Oh, that's so lame. I've lost a life. Suddenly his sister died. Did you see that? No. His sister. Yeah, his sister, yeah, sister, his sister just disappeared. And I was like, that's a bit weird. And then he was like, oh, well, I'm on level two now. This is so cool. This is the best game I've ever played. I'm in Back to the Future. And then a bee stung him. 
And he was like, oh, no, a bee stung me. I lost a life. That's so lame. His dad died. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, you know what? This is getting fucking disturbing. Oh, it doesn't matter now. I'm past the cafeteria. I'm on level five. I'm the best Back to the Future player there's well, ever he been. He probably is because he's done a lot better than yeah. what he did. Well, that is true. But then he falls into a crack. His mum died. Shall I, that shall poor I... fucking child's got no family. And he got electrocuted at the end of that advert. So I, I played the game and no I family. died a fair bit. Shall I go and check to see if my brother, mother, <laughs> That's a good point. dad They're is still alive? Dog. Been pretty quiet. <laughs> I'll, I'll text my girlfriend as well. I'll make sure she's <laughs> she's okay. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and then at the end, yeah, the boy the boy then disappeared. Yeah. That's a point. He died as well. Well, actually, I'm guessing this is all kind of like... Yeah, in all... reference to the first... It's in reference to the film. Yeah, but where none they of them were in a he... DeLorean. But there was a level where he's driving a DeLorean, which looked that very one. similar to the walking level, or the running level. <laughs> yeah. But you're in a oh, DeLorean. The, the skateboarding well, the level. The, the, oh, and there's a skateboard level where you're skateboarding rather than running, but it's the same exactly thing. Exactly the same yeah, thing. I mean, I mean the, the game is obviously segmented in that you have like three to four levels, which are effectively the same thing, which is similar to like Paperboy. So it's effectively like running stages, a stage where you're predestined to get to something else. There's no challenge in between. Yep. You, just, you just have to get to the next bit. But then these intermediate stages, which are kind of signposted by buildings on the map, like the cafeteria, the school, the clock tower, all of these things are obviously these challenge stages, like, you know, those guys with the, in the milkshake bar. Yeah. You know, yeah, you've got to throw, throw dinner plates at I thought it was at, scrambled at paper. Was it? I don't know. It's hard to tell. They got fucking knocked out by scrambled paper. I thought I I thought those are plates or something more serious, like ninja stars. (laughs) 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 You know, there's got to be there's got to be something quite intense to like knock back a big bully. You know, yeah, a bit of crumpled paper. He would just walk up and smash that milkshake over your face, and that'd be like game over. Yeah, and then some woman in roller skates flew over to him and gave him a milkshake and flew up again. Hell yeah, yeah, she was fit. (laughs) She was. Yeah, agreed. (laughs) <laughs> Agreed. All, all seven pixels of her. I was going to say, can I, can I just reiterate this is on the NES? Yeah. <laughs> you, can, you can find porn wherever. So. <laughs> <laughs> Promise you that. But yeah, so I mean, like, it, obviously that's the way the game is portrayed. So obviously, like, the last level, I'm guessing, because from what I remember of the map, is that it had one of its kind of final buildings. It was the and dance. Then there was a... The last level was the dance, I think. It was, yeah, you're which right. Which makes sense, it was the yeah. last bit yeah. of the film. But then it still did have a bit of road, which is obviously him travelling back um, to the present, his 1985. Yes. Am I right? Yeah, makes sense. So that, that last level uh, must have been what that kid was playing on the advert, with the DeLorean going through the thunder, trying to hit the gate eight miles oh, an hour yeah, to yeah, get back. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so in that way, the game is actually quite true to the movie. In that way. But as a start off, considering the prerequisite for this podcast is thirty minutes, we didn't really get much of a fill of the film, did we? Let's be no. honest. No. No, we did not, no. It was um <laughs> poor. It I was, was expecting poor. I was expecting a more violent <laughs> word. <laughs> I was expecting like a shit. Yeah. <laughs> or something like that. A shit or a crap. But we got a poor. But again, it comes back to the they had four years to make this movie uh, to make this game. So after the movie yeah, this came is out, a point. Yeah. what the fuck were they doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> well, if the clock time is anything to go by, all the drugs. Yeah. You know, they were doing. Oh yeah, the, they were doing the clock time. Said I had. Amount of said drugs. I had twenty seconds left, and then about four seconds later, Tom goes, "You've you're got dead. four. Yeah, I was, like, bang, I was like, "Mate, dead. you're dead. You're, do- you're, you're done." Unless they were just waiting for technology to catch up with, you know. The they ideas go- oh that they my had. God. You know what? We've missed a trick. They were being so smart. Like you say, they were waiting for technology to catch up. They were waiting to go back to the future <laughs> with technology to catch up. And now it's here and we still think it's shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, fail. Fail LGN, LJN, whatever well, maybe, your name is. Because they did tell tell. Were they LJ? T- uh, LJN? I think it's LJN. Beam. Oh, Fuck beam, you, beam. beam Software or whatever it was. Uh, Telltale have released Back to the Future game. Yes. And I don't know if that's meant to be good or not. I haven't played it. But maybe if this that was, was Beam Software's dream this the whole it, time. Yeah. This is the one we're meant to play. We're meant to go and play Telltales. Should we, we should definitely this? We should definitely play the Telltale well, game. We, nah, we the NES one was more fun. The but, but, one was remember that out. music? Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, I don't remember the music exactly, but all I remember is that it Blocked made it my out. ears bleed. Yeah. It was bad. 
It was, it was really, fucking awful. really bad. So what, what, what are we doing? Are we going to call a verdict on this now? All right, so would you carry on playing this game? Fuck no. No. You couldn't pay me fucking <clears throat> money to play this game. What if I gave you 50p and a Kinder Bueno to play another half an hour of this game? I don't no. think I would. No? No. no. Uh, a- Amy would. Amy would. Adam's girlfriend stuck her hand up in the air, very excited. Stuck. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stop. Um, so, <laughs> anyway, I, think, I think it's it's probably the shittest game I've ever played, and I've played Home Improvement. You know what I mean? Well, <laughs> we're, we're, we well, will be that, getting to Home that Improvement. That will be coming up We will soon. definitely be getting to Home Improvement. And my, my opinion of Home Improvement so far is... <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a little snippet for a future episode. Yeah, yeah. We can, we can cut that one fourth of a second out and put it in a future episode. <laughs> <laughs> There's another one. That's one eighth of a second. Actually, no, that's less, isn't it? But did anything? Is a quarter. Did anything happen? <laughs> <laughs> did, did anything else happen in this game? <laughs> did anything else happen in this game? Uh, I've got some notes. Go on. What, what are the notes we made? Hang on. Carry on talking. I've lost them. The thing is, we didn't ma- like you say. We didn't manage to play a full half an hour of this game. There we go. So I, uh, we can't tell you all the ins and out of it because I think it was just too crap to continue. Well, the thing is, it was crap, but also the difficulty level was ridiculous, let's yeah, be honest. It's stupidly hard. Well, the thing is, back, it's in, back in them tough. days, they I think we're going to find it a lot. I think they were all going to be very difficult. Yeah. Because it was like you spent a lot of money it was on the, it. It was the challenge of the game which kept you playing. Yeah. yeah. Like, because back then you couldn't have like a campaign that lasted 40 hours. So it just yeah. had to be difficult and you had to overcome that. And that was the game itself. Yeah. Like, it's I, like, it actually sounds a lot more rewarding, to be honest, don't you think? I think so. <laughs> I think so, but it's, it's Sorry, it's I farted. <laughs> 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 Sorry, we had a moment of silence there. <laughs> My fault. <laughs> I might edit that out. I might not. We'll see. <laughs> see if I can be bothered. <laughs> um, it's, it's, t- it's tough to say <laughs> if they just made it properly just so difficult and that made it just not fun. Yeah. But it's like you were saying, we were saying earlier, Said hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like we were saying that, <laughs> that uh, just because it's old and the the technology wasn't great in that, it doesn't. Old. It doesn't Sorry. mean it's an excuse for it being crap. Mm. No, because I mean? there's a lot of good games on the NES. Name four. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, here we go. Aha! Uh-huh. <laughs> Punch out. Yeah, but yeah. Okay, one. No, no, don't, yeah, Super Punch Out's better, but it doesn't matter because it's still a good game. On okay, the no, I'm with Punch you. Out. Okay, one. Mario. Two. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> Fuck. There must be a home improvement. <laughs> no, improvement is not a good game. <laughs> uh, what else was on the NES? There's loads. They released the NES Classic like 30 games on them and they were like... They did. There must Didn't have been something they? good on there. Oh, it must have been. What the fuck was that? Oh, that's a shame. You lose. Oh, <laughs> Zelda. Free. The original Zelda. And um, uh, I may remind you, you have 20 seconds and they're Back to the Future seconds. Oh, you've lost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's such a shame. <laughs> oh, better luck next time. Everyone give a big round of applause for Steph from, the, from Carlisle. Can't name four good NES games. Car- yes. What? I could name four good NES games. Steph could not get, name four good... <laughs> <laughs> that, is quite, that is one hell of a tongue twister. Damn, that's the worst tongue twister ever. So, Steph couldn't <laughs> name four good NES games. <laughs> so, I mean, this goes to show that actually, you know, the NES is the worst console ever made. No, I don't Mic drop. Actually. What is the worst console ever made? The worst console ever made? NES. <laughs> <laughs> um... Nez. Sega CD. Nez. What? Sega CD. Actually, you know that had Sonic CD, which was actually a pretty good game. <laughs> what was the um Nintendo? No, yeah, the Nintendo CD thing they had with like the horrible, Nez. the horrible, <laughs> the horrible get SNES CD or whatever it was called. Oh, that was that when they CD. did the PlayStation. No, because they released the games. They had like the Zelda game, and it's like it's the, when they had the, the prototype princess. for the PlayStation. No, they released like a proper CD thing. Did they? The C- they had, oh, the Phillips. They had like a Phillips CD they did. game, didn't they? But that, that wasn't a was proper that? console release. Though, yeah, it was. It? I'm sure it was. No. Phillips CGI or whatever, <laughs> whatever it was called. Well, it sounds shit. 
Yeah, it was shit. But that's where like that princess. I've never thing even heard of it. From. Have you not? No. Princess. <clears throat> yeah, I can't. <laughs> I can't remember what it is, but it's, it's it's like a Zelda game, and it's it's bad. Can I ask a question? It's really bad. Are we still talking about Back to the Future? <laughs> or yes. have we gone? Off topic. <laughs> <laughs> right, yes, so have. ultimate question: Would you call this game Shit. a cash grab? <laughs> oh yes. So, uh, uh, ca- yes. Ca- can I can I ask something quickly? And this is both for my benefit and the and the listeners. Um, can we describe what a cash grab exactly is? A cash grab. Yes, because I want to call it a cash cow, but they're two different things, aren't they? See, I always thought cash cow was um you're something... milking it you can milk it so yeah something like star wars marvel at the moment in 2017 yeah they're a cash cow even though they're all that they're, they're doing very well yeah and they're like moment like i'd say most marvel films are good even the bad ones are still uh, kind of yeah. good compared to crap films relatively good. i may they're disagree good, with yeah. you there but that's for another time that's for another day um but so that's a cash cow okay so you yep. can release something that has star wars on it and you'll make money out of it yep even the prequels made money. Yep. <laughs> but then a cash grab. What was wrong with you two? <laughs> He's looking at me. <laughs> Sorry, I was looking at Adam. <laughs> but then a cash grab is um. Mm. So say you release. Uh, I'm trying to think of a classic example. Et. Yeah. Yes. Et right film goes really well. Everyone loves it for some reason. They did. And it's a great film. Oh, it's really not that good. Maybe it's because it I watched it. It is a good it. film. Maybe it's because I watched it when I was older. I never watched it when I was a kid. Yeah, that'll do it to you. I don't think I've ever watched it. Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> right, so E.T., right, is the classic example. They released the film. The film was great. Everyone loved it. Yep. And true. then that they, they gave the guy like four months to make the game, and it's notoriously one of the worst games of all time. And this is the one that ended up in the desert. Yeah, the one that they, they buried thousands <laughs> of copies in. Yeah, and it was legend for like 20, and like they, 25 years. Yeah, and then they found them. Yeah. yeah, and they were all buried in the desert. Yeah, so that's a cash grab. True story. Because they've gone for something popular and made something else out of it to make more money. Just to make money. So yeah, the only purpose okay. was to so make that, money. That, that's that's yeah. the definition. So a cash Not cow this. is a, a franchise which is going to be continually uh, successful so it can be milked effectively over time and over a long period of time. It can just be constantly taking money because people are going to be constantly absorbed. Yeah, like it. Harry Potter yeah, still yeah, taking. Yeah. A, ca- a cash grab is an immediate thing. It's something like it's popular. This is the time we have to do it. There's not going to be another time. We've got to jump on the back of popularity. That's how yeah, I saw so, the Yeah, you're doing yeah. something for the sake yeah. of making money, not f- to make a good game. So in this yeah. in this instance, not to make a good game, you're doing it because you know it's going to sell well. Because it's got Back to the Future right yeah. on it. So in that case, guys, Back to the Future cash on grab. the NES. Cash grab, Adam? Cash grab, 100%. Steph? Yeah, cash grab. Tom? <laughs> cash grab. <laughs> yeah? Definitely a cash grab. <laughs> Definitely was a cash grab, wasn't it? It was, it was bad. Yes, it was shit. But, <laughs> so, having said that, I'm mm. actually quite glad we played it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Why? Your reasons? Uh, because it gave us 10 minutes of entertainment watching Steph fight bees. Oh, and point. run away yeah, from Freddie point. Mercury. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, true, so yeah. it was terrifying. I might add. They were actually ten, ten pretty entertaining minutes. So yeah, yeah. But then, okay. but then you're forgetting about the music. Oh, the music. And also, if you played this alone, you're. <laughs> oh, why would you play it alone? And without just... beer, why would you not dr- <laughs> like? Why would you not drink <laughs> and play this game? Like, why would you not drink or like just? Like put anything into your body and play this game. Like I don't know. It's foolish. It was foolish it was, people. It was horrible even after a few beers. Yes. No. Yes. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So there he is, putting the stamp on it. Back to the future. The game for the NES. Cash, Cash grab. grab. Done. Game. That was actually quite impressive. That was well good. Done. Nice unison. <laughs> Cash grab. <laughs> All right, so that's that's the first episode then. So join us next week uh, for another episode of Cash Grab with me, Adam. Me, Steph. And Tom. <laughs> <laughs> cool. We'll see you later. Anyone want to say bye? <laughs> bye. 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 Hi, guys. It's Steph here. Just thought I'd uh, add something at the end there. We, um, we're still finding our feet with the podcast, the first episode and that. Um, but I thought whilst editing it this will be quite fun just put a bit of music at the end of it especially because the music in this game was awful 
So I thought what I'd do is I'd just put a bit of music from the game we're talking about at the end, just to give you an idea of what's going on. So I hope you like it. Stay tuned for the next episode. Bye. Thank you.